Well, this table certainly rocks. This table rocks! Yeah! <laughs> it rocks. It, ro it, it rocks in a not-so-good way that I want it to. But this is just a test to see if the audio and uh, the microphone capture of my voice actually works out for the better or not. In the meantime, we're going to look up some crazy shit right now that's happening in the world. The world. Woo! Here we go. Check this shit out. Obama is under fire for planning a super spreader party. Yeah, who's the bitch now? <laughs> you know, hey, I gotta say, all to you, Mr. Barry. All to you. You want to have a party? Great for you. Great for you. But just how dare all you motherfucking leaders out there who think you could wave your finger around. And say, no parties, no parties for you. And then there's those people like Barack Obama who's like, oh, you should uh, listen to your leaders, uh, my, my fellow Americans. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, back to lockdown and uh, make sure you wear the masks. Oh, and hey, don't forget, you want to go get that vaccine. Yeah, that's our wonderful president, ex-president that is. Who knows? I kind of say... I kind of like to think he is the president right now. Right now, it's supposed to be who uh, Joe Bagabone Biden's. But it's not him. Love, man in the box. Check this out. You're not going to be in that box no longer. <laughs> Get your head out of the box, people. Joe Biden is definitely not the guy in charge. That's what I'm saying. Anyways, Fox News likes to say some more on the uh, on why Obama uh, and his planning of his uh, party. Where is this, by the way? Party with up to seven hundred people. That's what this says right here. Oh, here we go. The but five. It's all going to get worse if you look at the acceleration of the number of cases. The seven-day average has gone up substantially. Democrats ignoring warnings like that from top Biden officials and are now being called major COVID hypocrites after a weekend of breaking their own rules. Washington, D.C. Oh. Bowser was spotted maskless at a wet. More breaking of rules. Did you hear that? And then who's this? Mayor Bowser of uh, the District of Columbia, also known as the capital of the U.S., D.C. After reinstating her city's mandate to cover up. Just With no mask. Before. And Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot was maskless, posing with celebrities at Lollapalooza after threatening new COVID restrictions. She's oh. also being criticized for allowing that. Oh, speaking of Lollapalooza, I give it. Way to go, Chicago. Way to go, Chicago. You did great. You had Lollapalooza. You made a badass fucking or whatever they do now on these super... Super concerts. I've seen pictures, and by God, the golly gee, by God, we got we got like people everywhere. Kind of like you see in the sports now, unless uh, you play for uh, who are those two? There was like two teams where some some of their players had COVID, and they're like, nah, we're gonna reschedule your games. But we're holding the All-Star Games over in Denver. Which, by the way, those were supposed to be in Georgia. I believe in Georgia. And there's a big black population in Georgia. But yet, because it's racist for all these new voting laws, and Georgia is making sure that they are going to be checking for voter ID, which is a racist thing to do, they move the game to an Mostly white neighborhood in Denver, Colorado. More hypocrisy. It just doesn't get any better than that, does it? Can you feel it? Because I can. ...music festival in the first place. Plus, former President Obama reportedly defying CDC guidance for his 60th birthday party. Nearly 500 guests have been invited to the bash and at least 200 workers and are expected to staff the event. Just to get to a point on that. 
Um, Jen Psaki, the White House press secretary, commented on... Let me guess. They're going to be wearing masks. They're going to be social distancing. It's like, hey! Stay there. Stay there. Okay? I want no playtime from you. I don't know where I'm getting it with this. Try to do a little Tony Montana. Better Tony Montana. No, that, that, see that face? That's, no, 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 no. That, that's more of a Robert De Niro there. <laughs> the Obama party, take a look. Take a look. Take a look at what? Oh. President Obama has been a huge advocate of this individuals Jan being vaccinated. This event, according to all the public reporting, is outdoors and in a moderate zone. The guidance is about what steps people can take uh, when they're in public settings. Indoor settings specifically was the new guidance. Jesse, did you get an invite? No, but that's the hottest ticket of the summer. For sure. I didn't get an invite either. That is that Barack didn't invite Joe. Either. Oh, no, that's what happened because I did hear a headline that Joe Biden will not be attending it. Whoa, wait a minute. Wasn't he your wingman for eight straight years, buddy? I, I just, I don't know. Woo. Anyways, guys, a lot of shit is happening. This was just a test run of the audio. So bear with me and catch you later.